Not you know you know I, I um I was playing around with my theater thing the other day and and I, I made a Wild Man Beyond room a Mars a Mars theater. Did he have breathable air? Yeah, he's got potatoes up there and everything. <laughs> well, Matt Damon. <laughs> I'm getting yeah. Next time I, I do one, I'll, I'll eat some potatoes while I'm, uh, I'll stream. I'll stream from a uh, Wild Man. So far, I've done two uh two streams. So the next one I'll do I'll do from the Mars room. Yeah, goodwill potatoes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I was originally going to go uh, solo for this stream here. Uh, I'll do that next time. And but Matt was, you know, hitting me on messaging messenger, and yeah. I was like, let's do one on one. Let's uh, you know, have a collaboration stream here. We haven't done this in a while, like just me and you. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it, it worked out because I, I was I was supposed to be gone all weekend, and uh, turned out I got today free. So. After this, I got. I, I know you got a lot of things to do today too. So after this, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and and try building more of my um my virtual theater that I've been building. Yeah, yeah. So in the past two days, I've been off. Well, I did watch a couple of movies, and I'll be reviewing these next. Chaplin. Oh yeah, very good. And Cool Hand Luke. Oh yeah. So these are first time watches for me and reviews are coming. And actually this morning, real quick, uh, I started watching True Grit. Did that's the newer one? The John Wayne. Oh, the John Wayne. I haven't seen that one. I saw the newer one. Hey, Tajira. Hi. Yeah, so these reviews are coming. But I just have to write my notes and stuff and but I've kind of been like that lately where, you know, I try to structure reviews a little bit better and, mm -hmm. and whatnot. Have you seen anything lately movie wise or, uh, I was watching some Punisher today, the John Bernthal one. I might watch season two again. Cause my wife hasn't seen season two. So I might watch that again. Uh, I don't know if she saw the daredevil season with him in it, but I might watch it again because of the new season coming out. She watched the other one, the other season. She liked it. She likes John. She thinks John Bernthal's hot, and I just like to be there when it happens. Oh, uh, what? What? You know, uh, the one on one with Bernthal. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to go one on one with Bernthal. He's like, he could punish me anytime. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'd be like, okay, Bernthal. I'll tag you in. Whoa. Pull a Houdini. <laughs> I'm trying to come with a, a witty comeback line. I don't know if it's saying. Uh, oh, wait. You know what? I think this is. Is this Bobby? Core line. Is it Bobby? Yeah, I think it's Bobby. I think it's his, uh, Bobby. Did Bobby change his name? I think it's this other YouTube ch uh, moniker. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Hi, Bobby. But yeah, other than that, I mean, NYPD Blue, I've been watching oh. that the first season, and that's been very good. Sipowitz. Yeah. Yeah. Dennis, Dennis Franz is the man. Oh, um, yeah. I could tell as well, like after the first two episodes, that they kind of uh, toned down a little bit because yeah. Dennis Franz goes balls to the wall. In the oh, first yeah, two yeah. Episodes. Yeah. And I know that, that show. I remember when that first came out when I, I remember watching that the first night it was on TV and like yeah. it was, that was the big thing back then was that it was so hardcore, but then after a while, you know, there wasn't a, as much stuff in it. It got a little slower. You could tell that, you know, for them to put that on CTV here, that, that was a big deal. The only other program I think they started doing that with here was like, the Sopranos, and that was way after. Yeah. Because I could tell, I mean, it is still good the more I'm watching it, but I could tell after, like, the first few episodes. Yeah. Kind of, like, I guess there was a lot of controversy around that. And, yeah. you know, like, people were trying to cancel it because of the brutality tones and stuff of that. Yeah. Thing. David Caruso, there's, like, uh, there are a couple of sex scenes in there between David Caruso and Amy Brenneman. Yeah. 
Karen so, Kondazian from Over the Top was uh, from uh, Cobra was in there too. She had one where uh, she played. Uh, she was sleeping with her son or something. Something like that. I forget which one. I forget which episode it was, but I haven't seen that show in ages, man. I haven't seen that show since I was like early teens. <laughs> and I know David Caruso would leave the show. I think after the first season. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm. I think I have to double check on that. But like that was right before. That was right before Nasty Boys and that came out. I think. I think. Maybe I'm wrong. You ever seen Nasty Boys? No, I haven't. <laughs> That one's good. What Wild Man's again? a big fan. It's kind of like uh, they were—they were, they were kind of like informers that were going after like drug deals and stuff like that. It was like a narcotics. They're going after methamphetamine and stuff. And Paula Abdul, I think when Paula Abdul did the song, "Give Me a B," dan 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 dan. I forget <laughs> something like that. Um. But the first season I was reading won a bunch of Emmys. Oh yeah, yeah. It was a big deal back then. It was a big deal. And you know who appears in the first couple of episodes? Of who? The show? David Schwimmer. <laughs> As a divorce, he's a divorce a divorce lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think later on they would bring in Jimmy Smits. And then like, yeah. in the last uh, few seasons, they brought in Zach Morris from Saved by the Bell. Zach is trash. <laughs> Zach, yeah, Zach Morris is trash. I didn't know it ran on for 12 years. Wow. I didn't watch all 12. I, I watched a couple episodes. That was it. Got a little boring for my taste. But I probably enjoy it more now. Yeah. Being older, you know. I just want to see boobs and butts. You don't want to see David Caruso's ass. Believe no. me. No. Mitch, <laughs> I can just do it with you or without you. Yeah. Him and I were friends when your mama was still wiping your nose. <laughs> hey, Alter. Hi. Now, even by like episode seven or eight, like there's a scene where David Caruso. It's like taking a shower in the locker room at the station, and you see his ass. Oh boy! It's like Christian. I did see that image. Yeah, I liked it. He's got a little crow going on there, but I'll let it pass. Yeah, I saw like a tattoo right here. Yeah, like what was that about? I guess it's from some drug dealer or something. Some pimp. Is he on Frank they, and Matt? They fucking killed the crow and gave him his skin. Is he Frankenspeed? Frankenspeed. Yeah. Frankenmet. Yeah, Frank <laughs> Frank crack. Why is it that Frankenstein has to look like what's that guy's name? Post Malone? Yeah. Now if he had face tattoos, that's that'd be horrible. Yeah, I did hear about that. They're remaking the blob again. <sighs> I bet that's gonna be horrible. And another Matrix. Yeah, I heard that today or yesterday. Did you see the last Matrix? Unfortunately. Do you have any thoughts? I watched it on the airplane with no volume. <laughs> Maybe that was a good thing. Yeah, which is good because I didn't want to see Jada Pinkett Smith. Uh, so fuck, where, what else did I watch in the volume? I watched Elvis on the way down, and then I watched Matrix on the way back. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm turning turn this around a little yeah. bit. This is not as, there you go. I'm not as white. I'm not as problematic. Dude, we got to get you an Oculus, man. Oh, my goodness. Movies will never be the same. <laughs> yeah, I want to check that out. Now, do you think? Well, since you mentioned that, like, what do you think is the the future of cinema? I mean, as far as because you operate the Oculus quite a yeah. bit. Yeah, I just like this now because I just figured out how to build all my own stuff. So I built my own theater, and it's literally like if you didn't have the headset on, it like 
like you could be anywhere you know you could be in the car you could be like sitting at your desk wherever but as soon as you put that helmet on if you could get past the suspension of disbelief it's exactly like being in a movie theater exactly and like the movie theaters aren't just like there are many sizes and there's like drive-in theaters and a whole bunch of assorted theaters so um and like once you figure out how to put movies on it, you can watch anything you want free. And then you can like manipulate the video to 3D to different types of 3D and holographic image. Yeah. So you can watch movies in holograms. You can watch m- movies in uh in 3D, like not crappy glasses 3D, like like st- like Avatar 3D, you know. And it's free. Most everything for it is free. So. I would say you can watch all your YouTube, your, your, uh, I was watching your Grand Canyon video the other day on it. I was testing it out to see what the, what the Grand Canyon would look like. And I was like, damn, that's huge. Yeah. There's a lot more footage there of the Grand Canyon and Las Vegas. I just have, oh, yeah. I just don't know if people would be interested in seeing like family stuff. Yeah. I'd, I'd watch, I'd watch it. But also, too, like, if it involves kids, YouTube will disable the comments. So you can't really comment on those videos. That's okay. Um, yeah, I saw a thumbnail for the Bambi horror movie. Oh, canceled. Bambo. Well, they're making a... Well, actually, yeah, I mean, there's a Bambi horror film coming out. The Reckoning? Bambi the Reckoning or whatever? Um, yeah, Bambi, hmm. uh, Bambi the Reckoning. Uh, oh, yeah, I was going to ask about the Oculus. Like, how much did you pay for that, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, all the ones I bought were early, right? You know, like the first one I bought was like a thousand. Now you can probably get it for like 200 bucks. The two is like, like 300 something. The new one I bought, I bought like everything with it. So it was a thousand again, but you probably get it for like 500. And it's it's just unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. Like it totally blows the first two out of the water. The 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 speed at which it reacts is insane. There's no like there's no waiting to turn it on. You know, there's like you don't need anything and everything's right there. So you just pick it up and put it on, you're ready to go. Uh the space on it is superb. I was gonna ask, like, now that if you have Played around with that quite a bit. I mean, and you know a little bit the kind of the ins and outs. Do you have any nitpicks about the Oculus or? Um, the first one uh, nitpick was mainly the customer support, but um, the first one took forever to turn on. And then the second one, I only played with my cousin's one, but it was like a different type of machine altogether. It was like a different type of unit. It was very strange to configure everything, but this one is like super, super, super easy. Like it maps out your whole house. You don't even have to do it. It just automatically maps out your house. You can like, it maps out other rooms too. Like it will map out, like as soon as you turn it on, it will map out like every room. So you can just walk around. You won't walk into anything because it's Chris. It's like, it's like how I can see you right now. You can just walk around. You don't, you know, and you can put TV screens all over the place. So, like, you go open your fridge, you grab a drink, you can like sit on the fridge and like have your drink and and watch a movie over your kitchen sink if you want. <laughs> oh, wow, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, just, it's really really cool. Yeah, and the reason I asked about like if you think that's the future, why? I guess why don't more people get into Oculus, or do you think yeah. it's a preference, or is it? Is there some bugs there with the Oculus or maybe things that, that people have heard about the Oculus that may not be convinced by? There's, there's a couple of things you got to get used to, like when you first get one. Like there's like a like a button here for uh, for your eyes to set your eyes. And then you kind of have to go like this a bit until mm-hmm. the until it it's crystal clear. And then, boom, you're you're good to go. Just little things like that, getting used to things like that. But uh, as far as gameplay, it's amazing. The games are amazing. Uh, the cheat—they're cheap. The games, consider like compared to, to 
the big brands, you know, they're pretty cheap games. And I'd say 90% of everything overall, 90% of everything is free. So that's the big kicker because, like, most of the stuff you don't even have to pay for. You can just get it. I don't know why, like, I had this thought of, like, you need to watch 2001 A Space Odyssey on that thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely – I would so watch that. Out, out, out in space. You can watch TV out in space. Yeah. Play uh, that out there. <laughs> da, da. <laughs> See the monolith on your Oculus. Oh, yeah. Blast some Led Zeppelin 7. <laughs> da, da. Yeah, I didn't see Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, me I, either. I have no interest whatsoever. Mm -mm. No yeah. honey for this one. Yeah, I don't really <laughs> play the Hunchback of Notre Dame in a horror version. <laughs> Get Gary Busey. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say Gary Busey, too. Gary Busey and Peter Dinklage. I think Gary Busey would do it because I think he would do anything at this point. He did those, what's it, Ginger Dead movies or Ginger Dead yeah. War movies, wherever they were. Ginger Dead Man. Ginger Dead Man. And Ginger Dead Man fights Evil Bong. I, I've seen the poster, but I haven't seen the movie. <laughs> I'm hooked on this one game right now. Um, I haven't been hooked on a game in a while because I, usually I use it for other things. Like I use it for like movies and to mix my uh, videos with and stuff now because I'm going to start making videos with it. But um, I started playing this game. It's kind of like Fortnite and Call of Duty mixed together, but you can fly and stuff. That is pretty fuck. It's called Population One. That is is pretty insane. Wow. Pretty insane, yeah. If you get one, let me know. I'll set it up for you. I'll help you set everything up. I haven't played anything lately. I need to like hook up my PS4 again just to, you know, play some Red Dead again or mm -hmm. or something. It's cool because you can you can save to video and then you can post it. So you can film yourself playing and then post it and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can play with your friends and do watch parties and it'd be good for reaction videos actually. Well, I've done some playthroughs. Like I did Hitman Blood Money on the like mm -hmm. a couple of months ago or so. And they're all up, but I just you know, you don't really get a lot of feedback or comments on playthroughs. I mean yeah. it's not it's not my strong suit. Really? Yeah, me either. You know, I don't me have to either. Or, you know, like the big wigs have. Wait, what if T2 John Order? <laughs> sure, that worked. Yeah. Dun, 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 Dead or alive, yo, coming with me. And then he fucking shoots all those scum buckets. Blows their dicks off. 50 bucks. That's not too bad. I thought it was like 80. Let me see here. You guys have, definitely have better pricing too because we have like two taxes. You know, everything's so expensive here. Fuck. Yeah, it's 50 bucks. Do you think the next Omen movie will be a direct sequel? I hope not. I'm not going to watch this one. The one that's out. I'm done with the Omen. I've never seen the original, so I can't say. I saw one of them, and it was horrible. The one with Leib Schreiber, Leib Schreiber whatever. Was that the, the remake? Yeah. His mother was a jackal. I remember it. But I, I've never seen them. Yeah, I'm just looking at movie news here. I don't know if we need Happy Happy Gilmore too. No Chubbs, no Happy Gilmore. And Joe Flaherty, the heckler from the movie, passed away. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, Dune Three is now officially in development. Uh. 
Babylon 5 reboot for CW, really? Uh, I'm just kind of going through the, some of the headlines here. Have you seen the new Roadhouse? <laughs> yeah, it was okay. Like, I liked it, but uh, I didn't really like McGregor. I heard he really hams it up. Oh, he hams it up. He's very hammy in this one. He's all ham. No, it's just Connor, ham, ham, ham. Connor McCammon. McCammon. He's he's one charming motherfucking pig in this one. <laughs> I just he's ten that, times more charming than that Arnold from Green Acres. I've heard that it's just nothing. It's just kind of forgettable. Or yeah, it's kind of like eh, it didn't need to be a remake. Could have been its own thing, you know? Should have been its own thing. Then, if uh, you're gonna do something like that, why not pay homage to the first one? You know what I mean? Like why not why not have a little mystery? Why not have someone related to Patrick Swayze? Why not have did they do another one? Wasn't there already a sequel? There was a reboot? No, yeah, there was a sequel. And I think it came out in like the mid two thousands. And I know Richard Norton's in it. Damn. Like he's either the the good guy, the good guy or the villain. Hey DJ. Hi DJ. My friend was tell, trying to tell me that he saw the um, Ronda Rousey tape. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, she was going to do a remake of Roadhouse. No, no, it was a tape of her and uh, I forget which UFC or wrestler or something like that, but getting it on. Wait, yeah, the sex tape. Yeah, and I'm trying to wrap my head around it. Like, what, Ronda Rousey? <laughs> I'd be afraid to do anything with her. I'd be afraid to die. If you have a Gina Carano sex tape, I'll see that, but not Ronda Rousey. <laughs> I bet there's something out there. <laughs> nothing, nothing surprises me anymore. Now somebody in the chat's gonna go dig and watch. Yeah, someone's going to go find it. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen Coraline. I saw I saw some of it. It was all right. Um, yeah, I mean, The Matrix 5, I mentioned that. Uh, is this going to be an actual Matrix movie, or is this going to be like a continuation to the last horrible movie? I don't... Well, I kind of, in my mind, I'm like... Well, each sequel has like some kind of other title that starts with an R, like Re Reloaded, Revolutions, Resurrection. Yeah. Is this one going to be Reborn? This one's going to be Retarded. <laughs> 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 yeah, the, the writers are retarded. Matrix Retardant. There's no <laughs> fire here. Uh, <laughs> Morpheus right now, he's pissed. You make a yeah. matrix. You take the blue pill. All these years I've been getting the pills mixed up. What? <laughs> the matrix. Uh, reprehensible. Yeah. The matrix reckless. <sighs> Revolting. <laughs> Regurgitation. Yeah, regurgitation. They, 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 Wretch. They, they, Wretched matrix. The matrix reckoning. <sighs> the Redo. matrix. The matrix reach around. <laughs> 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 Mr. Anderson. Oh, no. Ma matrix. Uh, yeah, reach around to grab your white rabbit. <laughs> 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 He's gonna show you how far the rabbit hole really goes. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> Matrix. Yeah, I'm thinking. Oh. <laughs> I'm not watching it either way. Yeah. Meh. Nah. 
So I think my first fan edit is coming out today. Um, I think I have a bunch of them, but like my first finished finished one, I think, is coming out today. So on? uh, this one's for Die Hard Three. It's pretty much a cut of like you're with McLean. You're on the case with McLean the whole way through. So it's shorter and it feels more like it's trimmed, like the fat's trimmed out of it. It's really quick. Uh, I don't, I think the, the original running time is like two hours and 11 minutes or something. And I think it clocks in at like 70 minutes or 80 minutes. But it's like, uh, a, it's a more balls to the walls version of Die Hard 3. So I'm going to throw it up on my archive.org page and uh, maybe later on I'll link it below in the, in the comments if people want to watch it. Because uh, I'm, I'm doing theater tests for my Oculus, so I'm going to watch that in the, in the movie theater and see what it looks like, like how the screen, resolu screen resolution looks and how the sound works and see, see how I can improve I'm basically doing fan edits as a way to like um, hone my mixing skills. So when my documentary is finished, it looks pretty good. It sounds pretty good. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever I mean, yeah. If you have a link, I'll put it down below in the comment section after. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, I'll send that over once it's uploaded. I got a I got a nice uh, Rocky Noir where it's like, uh, but I fucked up the middle, the middle of it. So I got a fix the middle and put it back up but like i i got a version of rocky that's like rocky one and two together as one long movie but it's in black and white that'd be cool yeah it's pretty good it's pretty good i gotta work on a trailer for that speaking of yeah tulsa king season two is coming yeah i know i i mean i have to finish like i didn't see the last episode or two but i thought that was it like season one was gonna be it yeah, it was weird because they said if um if they didn't reach the agreement on Tulsa two that Hunter was going to start because they had it on IMDb and he actually said it were he said he was uh in the process of casting for Hunter so I guess I guess Hunter is pushed back yet again another year another year so but it makes sense that they would do that because. You know, Yellowstone, they have to wait now. And uh, Mayor of Kingstown, uh, what everything that happened with Jeremy Renner. Yeah. So it makes sense that they would go for Tulsa King. And also, too, like, apparently there's a part three for that big Western epic Costner's coming out with. So they're trying to figure out, like, and I know that's a different thing, but, like, I think I haven't watched Yellowstone, but I know that Costner left the show. So yeah, when um, when, when oh, sorry, sorry to cut you off there. Good. What were you gonna say? When I met um, Brian Dennehy's daughter, she was just left the set of that Kevin Costner movie, The Horizon. Yeah, and then when the last time I saw her, she was on her way back. Oh wow! Yeah, so uh, I can't wait to see that. And the trailer looks cool. Oh, Sting. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't seen that actually. Refrigerator. Matrix refrigerator. <laughs> now, which would you rather alter? <laughs> Being refrigerated to death. Well, if that's the case, <laughs> this franchise has been expired way too long. Yeah. It's a moldy piece of cheese that needs to be thrown away. <laughs> Two mice. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen the trailer for Cuckoo. Uh, no. Um, Mr. Frost horror film. No, with Ed Jeff Edward. Goldblum. That sounds good. I mean, just Jeff Goldblum in anything sounds good. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. I hope not. Yeah, I think what's going to happen. It my, this is my, not that I look forward to it or want it, but I have a feeling that they'll they'll probably have like uh, Shooter McGavin be the, that kind of Chubb's influence. Yeah, and like kind of uh, work with Happy, or either it'd be like kind of a doubles kind of tournament or whatever. 
Hot Shots 3, yeah, bring back Charlie Sheen. Well, speak of the stars. Oh, wow, man. Wow, man, where are you, baby? <laughs> There's so many things I got to talk to Isaiah about. It's insane. So many things I'm working on for Isaiah right now. Well, he can give us uh, some food since we're in space here and we're probably losing oxygen <laughs> with the space background, you know. <laughs> Pick us up. Beam us to Mars. I was thinking about doing that that movie that he got me on to as a as a fan it the same way as, as I was going as I'm doing the the Die Hard the Die Hard one is actually the same way I'm doing Rambo because I started doing Rambo ones they're pretty fucking awesome actually but um he he got me onto this movie called Certain Fury well, and man. yeah. With uh, Irene Cara and um, I keep on forgetting the other chick's name, and uh, I was like, "Man, that would be a that one would be a good one to cut because when you cut out all the other characters and you just stick to them like a buddy movie, I was like, and if if it was just like that from beginning to end, it would be such a cool fan cut because yeah, uh, when they're on screen together, they're so good." You know, it's like one of those weird movies that you never hear about. And then someone tells you about it and then you watch it. And then you're like, the first time you're watching it, you're like, hmm. And then it grows on you. But like, it was like when I was, when the last time I saw it, I was like, man, it would be really cool to cut that, recut that movie. Like whole new recut, all new music from the time, from those years, mm -hmm. you know, maybe throw in some more Irene Cara. It would be uh, a pretty fucking sick fan edit to do well man if you want if you want to hook up and collab let me know i've never seen it it's very good hey jim bug hello saya uh oh yeah i heard about this yeah apparently silver surfer is now a woman in this new fantastic oh. is she gonna have nipples <laughs> did did silver surfer have nipples well let me see. <laughs> Apparently, this is like a, a variation of Silver Surfer that was a female in the comics. Okay. Like an Else World. The Shala Ball version. So, whenever, I don't know which era or what years. I have a theory. Do you hear my theory on the Stallone thing? Do you know that Stallone's character is a hermaphrodite in in Marvel? Are you talking about his Guardians character? Yeah. Starhawk? I have a feeling he told them to fuck off because of that. Because they wanted to go full woke with him. Why, why do I have a feeling that... I don't know. When you said Stallone... It almost feels like there's there's the Silver Surfer connection there, or maybe I'm just spitballing. Well, he was out there. He was like the, the one of the most powerful of all the characters. He he was like one. He was a big one. He has a crazy story. Like it would take me forever to go into that. He his he's kind of like he, oh, he's at one point he's kind of like the all knowing. People should go go research that one. That's a good one because you would you probably see the the, the lines of where it's kind of like ah oh, it's kind of woke how they would how how it seemed like they were gonna do that character it got kind of woke you know. Did you see Guardians three? Not yet. I did. It was like half of it was okay, and the other half I'm like yeah. Yeah, it's still in it a lot, or no, just uh, one scene. I think yeah, I remember the yeah the scene where he gives a speech. That's pretty uh, I wonder how much money he made for that. I don't know. Four comics. Yeah, the female Silver Surfer. Not that I care. Um, Is she gonna get on, get it on with the other Silver Surfer and then make Silver Surfer like Silver Surfer children? How Baby Surfers. Work? Baby surfers, <laughs> surfing out of the beach, silver babies. 
<laughs> Their diaper is like the surfboard. Like or like like frozone from like the baby comes out and says one hundred percent pure adrenaline. <laughs> <laughs> Voiced by Morpheus. I was gonna say Shoots Laura Petty has a little nod to point break. Yeah. You got a female silver surfer, why not get her? Take your hands off me right now. <laughs> um uh, man. Oh, well. Yeah, that was a little weird though, because like Doug Jones was Yeah, Fishburn was good. Yeah. I have to watch that again. Yeah. The only one I didn't like was the last one. Oh, the twenty fifth. Yeah, because they did some weird stuff with that one, but the other two were good. The other two were actually pretty good. The thing, fun. oh my god, the thing, uh, Michael Chiklis was amazing as the thing. I heard he's coming back for Deadpool 3. There was an image out there. Wow. Somewhere I want to see this new, uh, new Daredevil season with the Punisher. <sighs> Damn. When's that coming out? I don't know, but I can't wait. I can't wait. And those two are so good together. It's insane. Daredevil and the Punisher in the, uh, in the, like the Netflix ones were so good together. Like you can't, that, that's a team. That's like a, a buddy team up that like, I wish, I hope they always come back. You know, like I hope they always have arcs between them because it will make you cry at some points. It's like there's one point where uh, at the end of the, the 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 Daredevil season where they're sitting in the park and like Frank Castle breaks down. It's it's exactly like like at the end of First Blood when Stallone breaks down and he's talking about like how they killed his daughter. They're like, I, I reached down to, to pick up my to, to, to put my hand on my girl's face and there was meat where her face used to be. And he's like all fucking like he's broken, completely broken, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I'm gonna cry. What um <laughs> so good, so good. Watch it. You have you seen have you seen those? I seen the first season of Daredevil and I liked it, but I didn't like continue on watching it. Okay. And well, season two is a perfect place for you to pick up because that's where they bring in uh the, the Punisher. Punisher. Yeah. He's really good. He's What's really, really good. Junebug raises an interesting question. <laughs> All metal, baby. All the silver. silver. The silver spoon, yeah. <laughs> the silver spoon. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> yeah, the new Karate Kid movie with Ralph Macchio and Jackie Chan. Yeah, I still gotta finish the season, the last season of Cobra Kai. Oh, yeah, season six comes out this year. That's gonna be the last. Yeah, I gotta catch up on that. I'm way behind. I'm maybe like one season off. Maybe it's something like the T1000, where you know. Yeah, like it shape shifts. Yeah, a shape shift and penis. Yeah. From soft to hard, it shape. Even when it's soft, it's hard. <laughs> shape shift. Shape shift. <laughs> <laughs> if you heard that snort, it's uh, the dog here in the back. Oh, yeah. Sleepy, Let's huh? Let's see if I can do this real quick. Hey, puppy. Hey, puppy. Yeah, she's a... Uh... Yeah, she's still a puppy. She's, you know, lazy. That's good. Yesterday I was so lazy. I fell asleep at like 5.30. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, even it today. Good. Even this morning. Like I, I, you know, like, I had to force myself to keep myself awake all day. Yeah, I, um, I went to bed at 11. And mm -hmm. I've been awake since 6. So... Oof. And I haven't. And by the way, Junebug, because I know you're a big Wayne, John Wayne. I started watching this this morning, and I have to finish it. I'm going to do that later, but that is a review coming up. Just wanted to mention that. John Wayne. 
It, it, we're, we're just doing a one on one, Jim Bird. Yeah, I'm just catching up because for the uh, for the Jack's notes, because we were supposed to meet up to talk about Jack's notes. Um, Speaking like, of which, Jack gave us the A OK, huh? Yeah, so for the second, for the next uh, Craven Files, we're going to talk about the first draft, the first blood. Yep. We're actually going to read through the first draft of First Blood. No one's ever seen it before. So you people will be the first to see it. So that'd be interesting. Yes, sir. Now, is this that first draft? Is that something that's been out there or mm -hmm. is this like a recent discovery? I think it was recent. Um, God damn it's good. What eating? <laughs> Pork roast and a slow cooker. Damn. Mm. Wildman's asking, can you imagine John Bernthal as Rambo? I could see it. Mm-hmm. Or maybe like he could have like a Rambo kind of like the hunted type of movie. Burnt mm -hmm. would be the you know Del Toro character. Mm -hmm. You don't care about the remake of Jeff Bridges. I'd love to see Burnt with long hair and a bandana. Just to see what it would look like. Yeah. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go use the washroom really quick. No problem. Yeah. Um That's one of his worst movies, True Grit. I mean, I'm enjoying it so far. I mean, I think uh, for me, I'm getting more into that than I did The Searchers. But I mean, I still got like Rio Bravo. I got that on Blu-ray and I got some other John Wayne movies. Oh, wow. Okay. I had no idea. Episode of Fringe or Peter Weller. That's cool. Yeah, I'm just kind of going through the movie news here. So why, if Jim Bug's still in the chat, why do you think this is one of his worst movies? I mean, I will say one thing. The the lead girl, yeah, Kim Darby, like she's okay. Um, and I'll talk more about that. Like I haven't even written down my notes yet. Because I have to finish watching it. But I did watch uh, Wall Man and for other people out there, because I showed this at the beginning of the stream. I did watch Chaplin, which was very good, Robert Downey Jr., and The Cool Hand Luke. So I'll be reviewing those uh, great movies that I watched. Yeah, I would say she did a. I think yeah, Haley Steinfeld did a better job. A little overhyped. I will say because I have seen the remake, and I do think the girl did a little bit better job. My cocoa. Yeah, yeah, and that's something too that. I think Robert Downey Jr. should have won the Oscar for Chaplin, but Al Pacino won it for uh, Son of a Woman that year. I am so going to eat that whole fucking roast. <laughs> I'm not leaving any, any behind. My wife said I can eat the whole thing. How big is this roast? It's about uh, that big. Man. Yeah. 
No sides, no vegetables, no mac and I got cheese. some I got some broccoli, but uh I don't well I'll save the broccoli for dessert, I guess. I didn't the steam it yet. Did you just say broccoli for dessert? Yeah. <laughs> What's the dessert dessert? Mm. Well, I'm diabetic, so I can't have dessert anymore, but so anything fruit and vegetable wise, that's usually dessert. That's usually my uh my go to. But I haven't done any groceries yet, so I gotta I gotta figure out uh well, I don't know. I probably won't be home this, like, for the rest of the weekend, so maybe maybe I'll only go do groceries on Monday. Maybe Monday if I'm lucky. Okay. Yeah. Damn, that's so good. I never saw less than zero. Yeah, I've never seen it either. I know. I do have it. <clears throat> I got to watch out. Lucky doesn't eat that roast. Your rabbit's going to eat the roast if you're not careful? Yeah. And be careful. He's a quick one. And then you'll have to cook the rabbit for eating a roast. Yeah, then he's going to be on the... Then he'll taste extra good because... You know what's weird about the rabbit? Is uh, whenever he eats something, he smells like what he eats. Really? So when he eats mint, his fur smells like mint. So I wonder, like... If he ate the roast and then you cook him, if he would taste like like pork roast. Oh, Peter's gonna come after us now. Don't go mm. for the attraction, man. Have to get Glenn close over here. Yeah, she knows the recipe. Believe me. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody oh, knows boy. the recipe, it's about cooking rabbit. Awesome, Fafa. <laughs> um, what if Robert Downey Jr. was in a Rob Zombie movie? <laughs> that would be the worst mistake of his career. Yep. I don't know. Haven't heard from Rob Zombie since the Munsters. Didn't even see the Munsters yet. It's horrible. Yeah, I I thought so. I go with Eagle Fang. I go with Eagle Fang. <laughs> Not Cobra Kai? You don't want to train well, with Grease? <laughs> no. I'd probably try them all, but I think I'd stick with Eagle Fang. Eagle Fang's like right up my alley, you know? Mm -hmm. Start off with one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Because it, it's it's it feels like like more laid back like no training almost in a way, yeah. you know it feels like like an everyman's dojo, you know like Miyagi Do there's, there's a lot of respect you don't want to dis you wouldn't want to disrespect a Miyagi Do, but me I'm more the kind of guy that like I don't find trouble trouble finds me all the time so Eagle Fang's a good fit because it's kind of like you know. Like, I don't know. I like, you know, like, ah, uh, what's his name? What, like, what? when Johnny starts the Eagle Fang, how it's yeah. kind of like anything goes. It's like that anything goes attitude. I like that. Cobra Kai is like, I like Cobra Kai, but I'd always feel like something sinister still has a, not a hold, but like, still could crack through. But Eagle Fang. Fang kind of starts like a, its own, it's its own thing in a way, you know. And at least you know too. Like after training with Eagle, Eagle Fang, you'll go back to Johnny's apartment with a couple of beers and watch Iron Eagle. Yeah. So you play me some some fucking Rocky Four music. Yeah. Have a cigarette. <laughs> Not one of these. Alter egos back at it again. Throw on the grill. Oh, we got to do uh, Seth Rogen's going to get hmm, stapled to the wall 
Wait, no. Throw on the grill is going to be Woody Allen and Patrick Swayze against McGregor. That's a slam dunk. Hey, Zach D. Hi, Zach. I love your logo, Zach. It reminds me of those old Zeppelin logos. I still haven't seen Iron Eagle, believe it or not. Yeah, me either. And rest in peace, Lewis. I didn't see that other one, Enemy Mine. Yeah, that's a good one. I want to see that one, too. And I want to see uh, Last Starfighter. I haven't seen all of it. And I got to rewatch Starman. Firewalker is a fun one with him and Chuck Norris. <sighs> and Sorcerer. I got to see Sorcerer. Oh, that's a good question. Be nice. Till it's time not to be nice. <laughs> what if he calls my mother a whore? Is she? The throat rippers or if you play on the double deuce bar name, like you you, you don't have to like work with that. Double douche. Double, the double douche. Sam Elliott was so fucking sexy in that movie. My wife knows him from all these like shows like Frankie and Grace, Grace and Frankie or whatever. You know, when he's all old. Yeah. And then I was like, you never seen Roadhouse? She's like, no, I never seen Roadhouse. I'm like, Sam Elliott? And she's like, who? I'm like, Sam Elliott. He's, he's like one of the sexiest men alive. And she's, uh, she's like, who the hell's that? And I'm watching that Grace and Frankie with her, and I, we saw him in there, and I was like, that guy. She's like, he's hot, but he's not sexy, sexy. And I was like, hold on, check this out. Yeah. And I put on when he take when he pulls his hair back, fucking ties up his hair, and my wife was like, oh, yes, Sam Elliott. <laughs> Better him than uh, what's his name? You mentioned a while ago, Barnfell, right? <laughs> <laughs> she gets a double pass, double feature. I gave her a double feature. The Punisher and Sam Elliott? Yeah. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, the next, oh, no. if, if I ever run into Alicia Cuthbert again, I can't. I, I got to ask her it's like to work with that guy. Yeah, Sam yeah. Elliott, he was a great actor. Well, he's still a great actor. He's still active. <laughs> yeah. He was in The Big Lebowski. I forget sometimes he's in that movie. Oh, man, he's back at it again. <laughs> Stabbing the eye. Steven Seagal's getting ripped apart for sure. Frank By Frankenstein? Yeah, Franco's going over the canyon. Feldman can get poked in the eye. And we're being... Jokey about it. Yeah. People out there don't take it literally. Do you think Franco did all that shit? Do you think he actually like was like, I think he did it. Wait, didn't he admit it in an interview or something? And oh, he, I didn't know about that. He did an interview like two years ago, three years ago or something. <sighs> I like Jake Gyllenhaal, but he, it was just not, then there didn't, it didn't need to be a remake of Roadhouse. Yeah. And I can't, I can't. Jay Jalen was a great actor, and he should have chosen better. He should have been more wiser. Yeah. Oh, well, good question. Rambo Five, biggest disappointment of all time, and I actually watched that again today. The bad version. The theatrical version? <laughs> yeah, my wife never saw it. Oh, so that's why you went back and rewatched it? Because she hasn't seen it? <coughs> yeah, she liked the ending, though. So how many times does that make? Three. <laughs> uh, one film that jumps to Maybe mind. five. Maybe five. <laughs> five? You know what was the worst part about that movie? I don't know if I've told this story before, but <clears throat> I was sitting here waiting to go see the movie, and then uh, someone leaked the movie online, 
So I was like, you know what? I'll watch 10 minutes of the movie, and then I'll go see the movie, you know? So I watched ten, the first 10 minutes, and it's the UK cut. It's the unedited. It's got all everything in it, right? So I watch about 20, 20, 30 minutes of that. I'm like, okay, I'm ready to Rambo. And then um, my dad died the same day. And uh, and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm just going to ditch my tickets. I'm going to go down because it's about an hour and a half away. I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go down to my dad's place. Mm-hmm. And they're like, no, we need you to stay there because we're sending the body over tomorrow. So I was like, okay, I'll stay here. So, so my friend comes and uh, I go meet my friend at work. I went to work to blow off some steam first. So I, just to hang out for a couple of minutes and blow off steam. And then I went to the movie and then we're sitting in a the movie theater and the movie starts. And it's like, it's pretty much like at the 20 minute mark where I left off watching the home. <laughs> Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, are we in the wrong theater? Like Is this Rambo? Yeah. Or is this like I mean, that's the big part about it. I mean, I didn't even look forward to it. I would say, like, in regards to that question, the one movie that immediately jumped to my mind is AVP. Because we got a watered down yeah. <laughs> you know, film. It was like taken. It was taken pretty much, no? I which one what what's that? What do you mean? Rambo five? It was like taken. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you just it's like the diet I can't even say diet version of taken. Could you imagine if he would have done that version of Rambo four for Rambo five? That that one that Jack sent us? Yeah. That could have been epic. Bring back Teasel. And in a lot of ways it was like that. It was like, it was like half of that movie. So it's like, it's like we got half of, half of Rambo four. In a way, like the fourth Rambo from the nineties. Yeah, they could have bought, they could have, you know, brought back Brian Dennehy. Yeah, but I think he passed away in like what twenty twenty. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of ideas. Not that I wanted Rainbow Five, but man. That plot was just... They should have left it alone. They should have left it at four, and that was it. Hey, Kamen Rider. Hey, Kamen Rider. Yeah, they should have left it at four. Well, we know... Four said it all. The better film is... You know, we know what the better film is. Yeah. Yeah, Command, Commando's way better than Rambo 5. Oh, I'm down for that. Now we have the now we have the Oculus. Now we can make movies together from other places around the world, and we could stitch it together, and it would look like we're all in the same room. Yeah. Of course, of course. Wow, man. Well, how do you feel about uh, no more uh, Euphoria? Ah, <laughs> fucking Euphoria! I thought they were doing season three. Or they three. are. I don't know. I heard it was gone. But I'm sure Wildman would love to be the new, you know, Dalton. Yeah. I'm sure you want Sydney Sweeney to sew him up, touch your body. Yep. Yeah, we could do it with AI for sure. But it would be like, it would be so cool. Imagine like getting all of us together. Like we could do that. It would be like, it would be super easy. Super, 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 super easy. <clears throat> so, but yeah, so. So when you're heading off to uh, the town? Uh, well, everything is five minutes away. So, I mean, I can go on for another, you know, maybe like 45 minutes or something. Okay. So for people that are watching, the eight people that are left, feel free to ask questions. We're just kind of shooting the breeze here. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, Wild Man Young wants to reenact that scene. 
The other chick in Roadhouse was cute too. The the short haired chick there. She was cute now, too. Are you talking about Kelly Lynch? Yeah. Oh yeah. Where is she at? Where's Kelly Lynch? She should be in Wild Man's bed. That's where she should be. I think Wild Man prefers <laughs> Sweeney over Kelly Lynch. I'm sure Sydney wouldn't mind, uh, you know, seeing just so much Wild Man to share. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, Wow, she's 65? Wow. Was she the one from Texas Chainsaw? No. Uh, Kelly, yeah, Kelly Lynch was in Cocktail. She was in Charlie's Angels. Uh, Virtuosity. Wow. That's one I got to find. Virtuosity. Never seen it. I haven't seen it either. I think I'd love to get that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Mag Mr. Magoo with... Uh, uh, Leslie Nelson. <coughs> they should have got um, Burgess Meredith from Mr. Magoo. That would have been funny. Yeah. Ooh. Well, oh, God. I mean. Dan Schneider. Because you can kind of see where maybe the Alec Ball, you, you know, you can kind of see where maybe there were mistakes made, but Dan Schneider, that was premeditated. They're kind of both equal. Almost. <clears throat> I mean, Dan Schneider didn't kill anybody, but it's just as awful. Yeah. But I would think, like, I know it's a horrible thing to say, but if I had to have a choice of killing a murderer or ki killing a pedophile, I'd kill the pedophile first. I, I don't disagree one bit. Yeah. But the murderer better watch his back for the rest of us. Yeah. The cobra's coming. Now, so did you hear about? Uh, I know you haven't seen the documentary, but apparently, like Mark Summers, you remember him? I uh, uh, no. Double Dare host. I uh, they it rings a bell. Yeah, it like he was bell. asked to be part of the documentary quite on the set, and they did like a bait and switch on him, where basically, you know, they asked him about Nickelodeon, like kind of give a little bit of thoughts. Yeah, and then they showed him this clip, you know. Uh, of whatever show it was, he's like, was this on Nickelodeon? <clears throat> Basically, he didn't know anything about the documentary. Okay. And he wasn't told beforehand what was it about. He was just asked about, you know, it's about Nickelodeon. It wasn't mentioned to him that, you know, it was about this Dan Schneider. So they kind of like tricked him. Uh oh. What what did he do? Was he, was he involved or was he like a victim or was he... Uh... Uh well, basically, his run on Nickelodeon and being a host of Double Dare and stuff, like, that was over before Dan Schneider came into the picture. Okay. So he has no nothing to do with... No that. recollection. No recollection. Nothing. <laughs> I don't know if I want to watch that documentary. It's just going to get me in a bad mood. It's going to make me angry. I remember when I was going to watch that Sound of Freedom, and I... It made me so angry. It made me so angry that like I had to leave the house. Really? Yeah. I I just wanted to I just wanted to put my hands in the wall. The whole like the just hearing more about it and then at that time I remember they, they were talking about Oprah and the news and they were talking about everything else. And it just made me just so pissed off. I was like, man. So I hope I hope some justice comes out of this for for those people, especially for that uh, that low is it Lohan? Lindsay Lohan? Lohan, yeah. Was it Lindsay Lohan or, or Amanda B Amanda Bynes? Oh, Amanda Bynes, yeah. Yeah, Amanda Bynes, yeah. Because yeah, that's, that's horrible. I don't know if you've seen her lately, but man, she's yeah, deep end. Yeah, that will do it, man. That will destroy. Imagine having to get an abortion when you're 13. Imagine all the drugs and stuff they're throwing at you, and you're 13. You think you know the world because you're a teenager, and they're just pumping you full of drugs and, like, alcohol, and, like, you could do whatever you want, and you don't have to ask your parents' permission anymore, and you're a rock star. Everybody around the world loves you, and then... And then they're like, okay, well, the, the price for that is, you know, you got to do this thing. 
blah 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 and then psychologically that must I, I, I guess I guess he wasn't counting on her getting pregnant because then she had that she had that she had she lost a kid or she had a boy I don't remember exactly what it was but but uh that's enough to destroy your, you for life yeah I that's heard. got that's got to be so devastating like I don't think my brain would ever be the same after that. Is that true though? What happened with her? At that's, what she, that's what she said. By Dan Schneider. Yeah, I saw that on. Uh, she was talking about it on some show. Uh oh, uh, here come the police. They're looking for Dan Schneider. Oh, or, or it's the fire. It's the fire department. Yeah. Uh, They're gonna hose that motherfucker down. Lindsay, I, well, apparently, I don't know if you've heard, they're doing another Freaky Friday. Oh, yeah? With and Lindsay Lohan? And Jamie Lee. Oh, nice. But uh, instead of, like, them swapping bodies, they're going to be, like, two more, like, a four-body swap in the plot. Hmm. <laughs> it's going to be Tom Arnold. Yeah. Mark Harmon, is he, is he going to be back? <laughs> Tom Arnold. Uh, yeah, I agree because you know that's just gonna typecast her, right? So, I agree. Uh, oh, the P. Diddy situation. Oh, fuck, I hate I've always hated Puff Daddy since day one. The only time I gave him a pass was when he worked with Zeppelin, and even then, I was like, oh, I really don't like that guy. How he treated Jimmy Page on SNL when he kicked him in the leg for getting in his way. I was like, oh, I didn't see that. you fucking son of a bitch, P. Diddy. Like, P. Diddy, I don't care how big you are. You will never be as big as Jimmy Page. Never. Never. I'm pretty sure Jimmy, Jimmy Page was like, like superhuman or made some deal with the devil and became like some kind of something bigger than he was because there's no way that too many things don't make sense about that. I really do believe that he sold his soul. Like Robert Johnson. I really do believe Robert Johnson sold his soul. How about this thing with P. Diddy and Michael Jackson? I don't know. I, I didn't even see that, what you're talking about. And I mean, his, I it happened, but I just didn't see it. His muscle was the same muscle as Michael Jackson. and <clears throat> Michael Jackson wound up dead. And then P. Diddy shot somebody in a bathroom. And they showed pictures of blood all over the bathroom. I don't. I haven't. J Lo. J Lo gave him the gun. J Lo snuck the gun over and get into the club and gave it to him. J Lo needs to go to fucking jail. What does she do other than hijack Selena's career? Well, apparently her <laughs> tour right now, like J Lo's tour, is not doing well. Mm -hmm. I was reading, I mean, I, I just kind of like, yeah, she rebranded her tour because, I guess, weak ticket sales. Someone needs to throw her on the chopping block. You're not a fan of J-Lo? No. Back to the block, bitch. The <laughs> chopping block. The only thing I've liked, I liked J-Lo in was uh, Selena. That's pretty much it. I still haven't seen that. That's one I actually want to watch. She was okay and out of sight, but that was about it. But... After I saw that thing where she gave Puffy a gun, a loaded gun in a club that she snuck the gun into the club, I was like, what the fuck? I, I haven't heard about that. I mean, I say that because I've never heard these stories. Mm -hmm. Always talk about the block. Oh, yeah, Anaconda. I forgot she was in that. Did you see the animatronics for the new... Did you see the trailer for Anaconda? Oh, the new one? Yeah. I did see it, but I mean... it. Wow. <laughs> no John Voight, no Anaconda, damn it. No, it's Asian, right? It's a all Asian cast. Yeah, I think it was Japanese made. Mm -hmm. But how many? They probably Anaconda used real snakes. Fuck. <laughs> how many Anaconda movies did they make? Like four? Too many. <laughs> <laughs> Too the, many. The Blood Orchid. Yeah, I saw one and two, and that was it. <laughs> I don't even remember part one. Except for the snake screaming. I enjoy I enjoy Anaconda. That's a that's a fun one. 
Yeah. I enjoy a good snake movie. Okay, here's a, here's a question I have. And for people in the chat, you can answer this as well. Anaconda or Lake Placid? That's with John Schneider? Uh, Lake Placid has Bill Pullman, Oliver Platt. Yeah, that was pretty good, too. Betty White, no? Yeah, Betty White, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Her scenes are the best in that movie. Officer Fuck Meat. <laughs> 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 okay, um, uh, got Anaconda. <coughs> JLo did the booty. <laughs> the boobs. I'm a butt man, I'm just saying. But I mean, I don't want to get all up in that JLo. I mean, Ben Affleck is. Yeah. Man, imagine if we find out that there is a fucking rap cabal. A what? A rap cabal, like a rap fucking secret society. I'm sure there is. Oh, but yeah, imagine yeah. if we found out, like, solid evidence. Wow. We're like, they showed tapes of, like, the parties and stuff. I believe it. Yeah, yeah apparently there's that. tapes. Yeah, I, I think I'd go with Anaconda also. Do they like? I know they've been. Do they even look happy as a couple? <laughs> he was happy to get that ass. Yeah. Pretty he was much. saying, "If you want my love," he's like strutting around the house. Dun, 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 dun. That Dunkin' Donuts commercial, hanging in his back cave that he made in his house. Yeah, but wait a second. I thought you, you know, Sweeney. She's not known for her butt, right? You bet your ass, wild man. You bet your ass. <laughs> I'm a boob guy. Sorry, fellas, to let you down. Oh, now we're gonna get canceled because we're talking about you know boobs and that's butts. my that's my kryptonite. That's my <sighs> damn. Uh, Takes me to another place. I like Ben Affleck, but I mean, what do you think? Um, <clears throat> I like him. I just think things got too out of hand. You know? I just think things got too crazy for him. Is that... <laughs> like, if I was... If I had to be fucking Batman, the way he had... He... Not only was he Batman, but he had to be, like, the Batman, like non-stop all the time and they weren't just talking about one movie from the get-go they were talking about three movies from the get-go so imagine like all these other guys got one maybe two times as batman but automatically he was working on like three different movies at a time imagine the stress and you're not allowed to talk about anything and your life is under a, a microscope all the time and it seems like too. Ever since he did Dawn of Justice, the first Batman versus Superman, it's just been like yeah. Ben Affleck. Yeah, yeah. Oh, who's that? Maybe it's Ben Affleck. What's oh, my wife? Jayla's watching. She comes. She's probably gonna tell me to get off the phone. Man. <laughs> Hey, Scotty. You got Scotty, Scotty in the chat. Scotty, you want to take my place if I have to go? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, if, if he has to go, we'll just, we may wrap up. I mean, we're just, you know, how long we've just been catching going? up. Yeah, we're just catching up. We haven't done a yeah. while in a while. Yeah. But yeah, we got, we got first blood. I'm really excited because this is like, there's some things in here that, that we've talked about, I guess, uh, way back in the day. Where's my beautiful wife? Carrying all her stuff. Are you okay? You forgot all your stuff here, by the way. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so there's some interesting things which I saw in here that I'll, I'll, I'll try to refresh 
people's memory. If people remember the last time we talked about First Blood in the very beginning of that episode, maybe if you want, you guys can go back on John's, on John's channel and, and find that episode. Um, I think it was called Some History on First Blood. We talked about the Pacino one first. This one predates the Pacino one. And this one's like, I think, a whole year before that. And I... But the paperwork on it says uh, that it's the first version. So I guess this is the one that was going around from about three months after. After, no, David Morrell said six months. So after six months, that one, and it just got retitled. I'm guessing it got redrafted, like renumbered. Because mm -hmm. it says first draft on it. Um, some interesting things in here. Like, I, I, I'm not sure if uh, one of the characters is Chisel's wife, because I didn't really look at it all yet, or if it's that psychiatrist they were talking about. It's probably Chisel's wife, because I know she had a bigger planet before. But some of the scenes they left in there were some of the scenes from the book, which are fucking insane. Like, there's a scene where this happens in the book, okay? They're chasing Rambo, and one of the guys is holding on to one of the deputies is holding on to Orville's dogs and ends up going over a cliff and it lands on the rocks below. And the dogs all land on the rocks below, and the dogs are all split open, and all their organs are like popped out everywhere, all their guts are all over the place. And the dogs are like whimpering, the ones that are still alive, whimpering and crawling out of their own intestines that was from the first draft and it's in that draft i was like i was like oh my god they left a fucking dog scene in <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be going that's in the book oh wow yeah there's another scene a really good i don't know if they use it in here but there's a a prequel scene where where the it's the, like their last test their last test before they become the Baker team and they have like a, a field of animals and they got to make it look like the animals are all dead. Like it, they got to make it look like it was passed over. So like when the enemy comes, they just keep walking. Yeah. And they fucking have to kill all the animals with their knives. And then, uh, and then they cut them open and they crawl into the dead animals. Thank you. It's still warm. It's still warm. Okay, thank you. What you got there? Uh, espresso. Latte. latte, espresso, latte. Well, it's hot. She made a little heart on it for me. Yeah. Oh, a little heart there. That's cool. Yeah. Well, oh, that's good because it's cold out. But um, Is there snow out there still? It's melting. It's It's almost gone. Yeah, so, um, yeah, they have to crawl into the animals and hide in there while the enemy walks over. Oh, wow. Troutman's like, uh, the, the enemy will give you 15 minutes, I'll give you five. And they have to fucking run run into a field and fucking kill a whole bunch of cows. And <laughs> so I wonder if any of that stuff's in there. Like the, par like the paratrooper scene where guys are, like, breaking their legs off, landing with the parachutes, hitting trees. I wonder if any of that's in there. Yeah, so I can't wait to go over that first draft. Or, and I think yeah. I got the I got the PDF. I got the yeah. file that you sent. So that's going to be the next uh, Craven Files. It's going to be bloody, guys. <laughs> they didn't call it First Blood for nothing. It's way bloodier than the movie was. Yeah, yeah. Jim Bug was here uh, in the chat earlier. Junie. Yeah, I love the Warriors. The Warriors is another one I'd love to do a fan cut of. Just the Warriors. Just their scenes. I would love to do a fan cut of that. <laughs> Can you dig it? it. <laughs> I said this world is ours. If you can count. Hold on a second. It was the Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do something real quick, but uh, 
So who's in here in the chat? We got nine people watching. Who's out there watching? <sighs> yeah, that's a great fucking game. I uh, I never played it, but I remember it. But uh, I'll shoot you full of holes, warrior. <laughs> if you want, we can wrap it up because uh, uh, yeah. Let me do this real quick, and then uh, we'll. Okay. Oh, my bad. I'm trying to hurry up. No uh, problem. So what do you want to say to the people? I mean, as far as like, what do you like last words? Oh, or... I can't wait for Jack's for the next Jack episode. It's going to be fantastic. Um, it might take a while because I think this is a good five hour read. If I five hours straight, so we'll probably be you know doing a couple like a page and then talking and then a page and then talking. So. It might be a couple of parts. I don't know. It might be its own series. I don't know. It might be a long one. Uh, I think it'll probably be about five hours. Usually, usually Rambo scripts when I read them, they're about four or five hours. All right. Uh, but if this works, maybe we can do other scripts. Yeah, I mean, there's some. I mean, golly, I got. There's so much out there though with Jack Craven that he sent, and imagine if we did like Commando Two. Yeah, I mean that too. Oh. I mean, that's what I'm saying. We need to. We'll 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 figure that out. We have to talk about when we're gonna do the second installment, mm -hmm. but that's definitely on the plate for the next one. Yeah, and that's the first blood, first draft. Yep, first draft. So, Scotty, by the way, I sent you an email, Scotty. Um, <laughs> Hello, but, Scotty. But you gotta go and. Uh, yeah. And, but it was great having you on, and thank you for coming in, man. <laughs> Always a pleasure, and thank you uh, to everybody who tuned in. And uh, it's good to be here. And uh, yeah, and for everybody that you know, let me see. I'll, I'll see if there's a one more comment. Um, I see you, Scotty, but I know Matt has to leave. So basically, Scotty's going to tag in, and then uh, we'll just okay. we'll kind of keep it one on one from here. Um, All right, I'll, I'll I'll wait for Scotty. But uh, great Scott! And speaking of Scott, one point twenty-one on gigawatts. Hey man. Yes, uh, that that we will, sir. <laughs> and so, like I said in the chat, speaking of which, I actually uploaded a clip from Star Trek Three to search for Spock. Oh on. yeah, it's still in the Enterprise scene. I'm sure you remember. It's probably the best moment out out of all the originals. YouTube hasn't gone on you for that yet. <laughs> Well, I mean, there was a copyright, but I didn't. It wasn't a strike or anything. So. Oh, nice, nice. All right, okay. gentlemen. All right, I'll man. catch you guys All on right. the flip. Take it easy, man. I'll send you that link if uh, if I can get it up today. All right, brother. All right, guys. Take care. Ciao. Take it easy. Yeah, um, yeah. I, you know, originally it was just, it was just going to be me earlier, and then you know Matt asked, and I was like, let's do one on one. So. And I figured if he's leaving, tag you in and we can do, you know, for people out there that want to ask questions, Scotty's right. here. Scotty and Scotty does know. <laughs> yeah. Scotty knows. Yeah. And also, like I said earlier, I uploaded a clip from Star Trek three to search for Spock. Damn, damn good clip that I, uh, which, okay. Well, I'm going to inter ask an interesting question. Uh, which Star Trek movie from the original is the best after Wrath <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Are you good? Um, I, I mean, I like Wrath of Khan, but I have to admit, the search for Spock was kind of equal in terms of that. I mean, I do like the Voyage Home for sure. Um, gosh, what else? Hell, I even have a soft spot for Star Trek Five: The Final Frontier. And that movie's going to be uh, uh, what thirty-five years old now. <laughs> yeah, I guess I still like that movie, despite you know fans that don't you know. You mean uh, you've seen all the original Star Trek movies? I I've, I've seen I've seen I'm familiar with the first five and six. I have to kind of revisit again to kind yeah, of six, freshen up on I mean, it. There's no no doubt about it. Star Trek six. Um, Star Trek six is definitely a good way a good way they ended on. I mean, Star Trek five wasn't horrible. I mean, it, was, it has issues, but Star Trek six definitely ended on a great note. Then we had generations, and you know, next generation took over. I mean, Wildman since is an interesting says if you don't bring up search for Spock, it's kind of forgotten. But uh yeah. 
that's me. I feel like it's almost, I almost want to say, dare say it's kind of better than Wrath of Khan in this, in this sense. I, I know that's kind of going against the grain there, but I like Search for Spock. Oh, no. I mean, I would say between three and four, four is my favorite, but part three is right up there. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and I do agree with Law Man. You know, the Undiscovered Country was a great way to send them off, you know, great send off to the original crew for sure. Yeah, you also had, you had you had ILM you had ILM come back to do the visual effects because they were sorely missed in Star Trek Five. Yeah, and uh, they have to give Five another watch. Like I haven't popped them in in so long. Like I want to go back and. Yeah, ILM was too busy working on several other films. You had they were working on Ghostbusters Two, The Abyss, and Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Oh, you reviewing those? Am I? Re I don't know if I will. <laughs> There's. Oh. Um, I mean, I, I just barely moved back in and everything's kind of a mess right now. So, oh, you're fine. Uh, I would say Eric. Was... Yeah. Is that his name? Eric? Yeah. Eric. Yeah. Um, now go watch the, uh, the, the original six. The original six are the best ones. I mean, the next generations, they're decent, but nothing compares to the original crew of the, of the Starship Enterprise and William Shatner is Captain Kirk. Have you seen the next generation movies? Of course i actually saw the it's funny how you mentioned that that one's going to be 30 years old soon come november generations because it came out in 94. the only thing i've heard about that is captain kirk dies <laughs> but yeah it's, to me that's the worst one i think in my honest opinion i kind of i mean even though i don't mind it i kind of have to side with matt on that one you know matt Marin Baraf for life i remember he rented the hell out of that movie yeah i haven't seen it but i just that's all i've that's my knowledge of the movie, but I do have it. <laughs> I don't mind 2009 from um, of Star Trek. I mean, it definitely you know kind of set things up. Into Darkness, eh, it could have been better. Beyond, I think had its entertaining moments to a certain degree. I the 2009 movie. I think if I go back and rewatch it, I would think at best it's okay. <laughs> but I think it really started the whole like. You know, the way that Star Trek shows look like now. Mm -hmm. like a lot of lens flares. Yeah, Robert Kurtzman, all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, With Michael Myers. Hmm. <laughs> trying to figure out. I don't, I don't know where, where that would come from. <laughs> because they're both Canadians, I guess. Maybe that's why. Um. Are you talking about the Michael Myers mask? Oh yeah, Michael. Oh yeah, Michael Myers. Of course. What am I? I keep forgetting about that. Michael Myers. Oh yeah, because Shatner's. You know, he was the face of Michael Myers. So yeah, Captain Kirk himself. Now we just need Mike Myers wearing the Mike, the William Shatner mask. You know, that'd be a weird thing. I mean, to have. I mean, it's a funny thought. What if Mike Myers wore the Halloween mask? That isn't Michael Myers. William Shatter mask. <laughs> uh, yeah, Eric says no. It's because the Michael Myers is a modified William Shatner mask, pretty much. But uh, have you watched anything lately? Uh, honestly, no. I, t t the first three days, well, really Tuesday was really hectic for me. I didn't exactly have any help other than Saturday that happened. You know, whenever I was moving. Um, I pretty much had to do a whole lot of moving myself. I had to get a, a, a box truck from Home Depot just to get the heavier stuff off. And surprisingly, I was able to get the sofa in myself out of all things and some of the stuff I know that can't fit in my car. You didn't have a helper? No, I pretty much did everything myself. And then Wednesday when I had off, that's the only day I had off this week, I, um, I pretty much spent all day trying to get the rest of the smaller stuff out of there. And, yeah, it was pretty hectic. And I didn't leave the apartment until 1030. And I thought I had gotten everything out, but it turns out I didn't quite get everything out. But luckily, the, the person, that the property manager there sent me a text message Friday and was able to uh, uh, let me notify me of some other things that were still in there. Not a whole lot, just a few towels and a lunchbox and like a, a thing where you can put pizza on, like a pizza pan. So, yeah. Okay. The one... And I've seen the Warriors. I have. I bought like a custom Blu-ray where it has the theatrical cut because I think the other Blu-ray releases have the director's cut. 
I haven't seen the director's cut, so I don't know if it's any good or if it's inferior compared to the theatrical, in, in, you know, inferior to the theatrical cut. I don't know if that's the case. Yeah, I don't, I don't even think I have the movie, honestly. I know it, it once. And the only, it seems like the only face I remember or actor is like James Rimmer and, and of course, David Patrick Kelly. He was the one that said, you know, Warriors come out to play. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that scene. I mean, I've seen it one time, but I haven't. That may have been like five years ago, six years ago, or something like that. The book is worse. So it was based on the book? Hmm. So, oh, really? The Quantum Leap reboot has been canceled? There is a God. Yes. Uh, you see, you didn't care for the Thank Quantum you. Leap reboot? Yeah, the re did you even know there was a reboot? I, I knew it, but I never watched it. So, after two seasons, wait, what well, movie web? Okay, it says right here Quantum Leap canceled after two seasons. Stars and fans shared their sadness. What fans? There was fans. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder Scott Bakula didn't. Oh, he was asked to have a cameo and he refused. I think he was asked to appear in it at one point, but he's like, nah, I'm good. You Good luck, <laughs> pretty much. So uh, uh, what's his face? I know that uh, Richard Bing Anderson, he was asked to have a cameo in the new MacGyver, but I think he refused on that as well. I don't blame him. I mean, because I've saw, I saw like a little bit of the pilot, and I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not down with it. <laughs> MacGyver doesn't work in the 20th, 21st century. I would say, you know, really, MacGyver worked. I mean, the MasterCard commercial that came out back in the mid 2000s, that was fun. And there was another commercial that he did that came out in 2012. And it's like a 10 minute commercial. Richard Dean Anderson comes back, and that was fun. Oh, yeah, a little MacGyver cameo, yeah. I know they did a little appearance with What's-His-Face, you know, the guy who was who played with Gruber. <laughs> I'm sure you remember uh, that. I, I don't not know. The, not, in the, not in the movie MacGruber, like SNL MacGruber. Oh, uh, Will Forte. Will Forte? I don't know what movie. I walked out of that movie. I don't know what made me go watch it in a theater. But I walked. that's the one movie that I've walked out on. <laughs> And because there was an emergency. And um, I don't know about any Star Trek themed YouTubers. I know that Overlord DVD is definitely a Star Trek fan for sure. AKA he's called Doomcock for whatever reason. He was the one that supposedly leaked about the original proposed ending of Indy 5, you know? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I saw Indy 5, most of it, and I'm like, uh, this this sucks. Yeah, you said he was looking for his peas and carrots, right? Yeah, that's what, I, that's what Harrison Ford's performance was, like a, you know, wandering old man in the nursing home looking for the bingo hall. And one man asked an interesting question. What would you think if they did a Star Wars Star Trek crossover? That'd be interesting. I know someone made like a trailer where apparently, supposedly, um, was it a Star? No, I don't know. Well, I'll say this: I liked, I liked. Well, for Indy Five, I liked Harrison Ford. He was definitely a good part of it. And I did kind of like the ending where you saw Karen Allen. That's probably one of the few things. And John Williams. You know, you gotta give respect to John Williams. The fact that he was still able to compose at that late. In his age, you gotta give you gotta, you gotta give John Williams his props. The fact that he's still composing at a pretty old age, you gotta gotta give him his respect on that. Yeah, that, the one thing I can give Indy Five is seeing Karen Allen again, and that's pretty much it. Well, <laughs> don't, forget John, don't forget John Williams, John Reese Davies. Yeah, yeah, I just wish he. I, it would have been nice if he did go on that trip. That could have helped a little bit. That would have been nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's he's definitely smoking the MJ, isn't he? 
Got a shit stain on there. I heard like Indy Five, the loss. It was like yeah. 130 million dollar loss. Yeah, 100, 100. I think they said 130 million or 134 million. Probably because, like I said, the film was delayed a year. It was supposed to come out like 2022, yeah, 2022, and then yeah, you know, it's delayed to 2023. Probably because of the because of the reshoots and everything. Probably. I have no idea. I know that uh, Shia LaBeouf. In his, in honest, in all honesty, he probably shouldn't have said what he said, but still, you know, they didn't have to kill him off, but I guess they had to for whatever reason, you know, more Kathleen Kennedy's bullshit. So yeah, that's all yeah, I can say. One hundred thirty-four million dollar loss. She should be kissing. Uh, she she definitely be kissing. You know, Steven Spielberg and Shia LaBeouf's boots for sure. That's what she should be doing. It was just. It was just the the definition of unneeded and pointless mm -hmm. and now we're getting the matrix five so there's a matrix five yeah the, it's already been announced hmm? are you kidding me i mean why would they is this well is it even gonna go to theaters because i know the matrix four bombed as of Three days ago, Matrix five, Matrix five is in the works with Drew Goddard as director, Lennon Wachowski as executive producer. Oh, man says, "I want if they do another Star Trek movie, I want to see them bring back the triples. That'd be interesting if they did." And then he said he was so done with the Matrix, I can't blame him. You know, the first three are definitely good enough for me. I mean, as much as the sequels get shit on, i you can do far worse. <laughs> what did Drew Goddard direct? His name sounds familiar, but yeah, I'm trying to remember that myself. Drew Gard, 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 yeah, Drew Gard. I was trying to go off the top of my head, but I might have to look this up. I'm looking at on Wikipedia. He was involved in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He uh, he wrote Cloverfield, the original one, and then he did Cabin in the Woods. Directed that. Oh movie. yeah. It says right here he wrote the screenplay for The Martian, but yeah. So the guy that did Cabin in the Woods. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Even then, like I saw that movie, Bad Times at El Royale, and there's a couple of good performances, but it's just not. It's a really a forgettable movie. I don't know if you've ever seen it. I haven't seen uh, that movie, nor even Cabin in the Woods. Why? Why get that? <laughs> Why get that guy to do Matrix 5? I don't know. No idea. Yeah. Me and Matt were joking about it earlier. Like, because Avery Matrix is at an R in the title. Uh -huh. So what is this going to be? Reborn? Regurgitated? Refrigerated? <laughs> uh, I was going to say, well, they already did it. Matrix Reloaded, but uh, Matrix... Reloaded? Matrix Returns, I guess. The Matrix Revenge. Revenge of the Matrix. <laughs> yeah. The final chapter. Yeah. Speaking of which, hey, wow, man, I actually saw that little thing, that little short of um, Dire Straits that you did, the money for nothing, man. That was quite funny. I got to give you that. I've been meaning to comment on that. I know it's over a year old, but man, money for nothing and the chicks for free. Neo goes to hell. <laughs> Well, he, I guess he won't get the chicks for free, that's for sure. Morpheus takes Manhattan. <laughs> Morpheus takes, or uh, uh, what's his name? <laughs> Agent <laughs> Smith goes to hell, the yeah. final matrix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it's going to be called. Oh, man. Or as actually, actually, it was, from what I understood, Doogie Hauser was the bad guy. Maybe it's Doogie Hauser that goes to hell. And then the third and final one will be called Matrix X. Yeah. The Matrix gets an upgrade. <laughs> this time they're in space. This, and there's nothing that can be done. And they're haunted by the ghost of Joey Pants from the first movie. Yes, that's right, Wildman. You play the guitar and you're MTV. That ain't working. That's the way you do it. Money <laughs> for nothing and the chicks for free. Now look at them yo-yos. That's the way you do it. 
I t- I'll take it, while man. You got a big crush on uh, Sydney Sweeney. Is that putting it lightly? <laughs> oh, I think he wants. He has more than a crush. You know. What do you call that? What's more than a crush? I don't know. I get, what's up? Obsession. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing with you, all, man. Not Let's make sure that Daniel Craig doesn't get to her. <laughs> Yeah, if she's the next Bond girl, you have to bring back Daniel Craig. That way, Wild Man Beyond doesn't know what to do. He'll he'll lose his mind. Maybe maybe Bond, maybe Daniel Craig's Bond will turn to Dark Bond, and, then maybe, and then maybe yeah. Wild Man will have will play be the new Bond and have to come in and save the day, <laughs> save the day, and he'll have the Ghostbusters on his side. <laughs> yeah, like um, Wild Man Beyond would be like you know double O. 10 or whatever, or 009. Double O-W, for wild, the W for Wild Man. Yeah. And Wild Man's just saying, it's he's, he says, relax, I'm not that obsessed, it's a crush. So Yeah, I'm just playing with you, Wild Man. Yeah. I always, And he even says, I want to be Bond. Need to make a movie. Yes, maybe we should collab and do something in a tribute to dire to dire straits, you know. They were well, damn the, the ideal movie is to make Basic Instinct. Wild Man Beyond directs it. And I'm sure he'll get Sidney Sweeney as uh, Sharon Stone. Yeah. And uh, maybe uh, maybe Chris Pratt will will be the detective, I guess. Unfortunately, Catherine Schwarzenegger wasn't enough. Maybe now Sidney Sweeney becomes his new latest obsession. But that's I, never, I never saw that fan film, Wild Man, sadly, and then I will make one soon. I'm sure, I'm sure he will. I'm, I, I'd like to edit it, too. I'm currently trying. I haven't got around to it because of my move and everything, but I'll definitely eventually get to working on the um, Deep Rising review, which I've been trying to fucking do for months now, like you wouldn't believe. So, And Wild Man says, Cine Cine kind of looks like Sharon Stone. She has the same size. As she did, you know, she's a huge sex symbol, but she has some good acting range. And I'm sure she would you say that maybe she's more classier than Sharon Stone? Because, yeah, Sharon Stone might have been good looking, but she wasn't exactly known for being, you know, friendly a lot. And I've heard some not so great things about her and her fans. Maybe she does have that at times, but I, but I recently heard that Linda Blair is not exactly kind to her fans either. I, I met Linda Blair, she was fine, like she was kind and stuff, but. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't want to hold up hold up the line, so I'm always like, you know, trying to like get in and get out. And I didn't really have a chance to ask her about anything. So, I mean, I just took a picture with her, and she was cool. Sydney Sweeney, to be fair, I haven't really seen a lot of stuff with her in it, so I don't. I can't really comment on her acting, but that's just me. And came in writer says, Scotty, can I dance? And I can't dance, sadly, no. Same status. I'm going to say the same status as Sharon Stone, not the same Oh, well, No, I can't. <laughs> I can't dance. If someone wants to teach me, fine. Maybe that could be my way to the ladies, for sure. Yeah. I mean, so, yeah, I know Sydney Sweeney has done some stuff. I just haven't seen yeah. much of her stuff. Okay. All right, take it easy. You're welcome. Oh, oops. Sorry, uh, saying goodbye to my dad. I was helping with something earlier. Oh, no problem. We decided to buy a, a, gener- a house generation house generator. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, I have, I have no interest in watching Euphoria, but that's just me. The same here. I don't care for it that much, honestly. So, yeah, I was just looking at movie news here. Uh, 
I don't know if you saw. I don't know if you saw. Um, I know we were talking about Star Trek earlier, but did you see my? Uh, you you saw Search for Spock, and and would you say the him stealing the Enterprise was definitely the best moment in Star Trek? You know, yeah, I would say so. I mean, it, yeah, like I said, those movies I've seen before, but I definitely want to go back and now that we're talking about them again, like the third the third one. Yeah, I haven't seen them in a while. Well, got a date coming up? No, it's just. It's a it's a neighbor, but I mean it, it's. I ain't worried about it. I tell you, that woman is everywhere. She is dominating. A lot of people say the Hollywood movie star, but she really brought it back, and she killed wokeness with her boobs. Yeah, well, believe it or not, it's Sydney Sweeney. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I'll be there. You want to go to Duncan? Okay. I'm sorry, wild man, but we're gonna get some coffee. <laughs> so, uh, y'all yeah, pay. I'm joking. I'm only joking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to. haven't seen Annihilation. I've heard some interesting things about it. Christopher Lloyd did a great job in part three. Some, the same year, well, yeah, a year later, he was in Back to the Future. That was a role that really defined Christopher Lloyd's career. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Christopher Lloyd's great in Star Trek Three. Oh man! But yeah, it was just—it was just a neighbor. I don't know what. Is he giving you a hard time? No, I mean no. It's all good. It's just I'm sure he probably wanted me to help him with something. And but uh, oh. He Ah, uh, so uh, is he? Is your neighbor paying you, or is he going to reward you with a n nice lunch or dinner? Oh, none of that. But I mean, he—I don't know if he needed help or what something. But I mean, it's all good. I, I, you know, I'll worry with it later, or maybe I'll call him back afterward. Right. It's funny uh, you mentioned. Oh, so Christopher Lloyd was also included. You know that. Also, the same year, nineteen eighty-four, before Star Trek three. Or was I think it was, or I take back, it was probably after. Uh, Lloyd was also in Buckaroo Bonsai. That was another another film that came out in '84 as well. Yeah, he was busy around this time. I forgot he was in Clue. Yeah, I, I honestly, I, I'll be honest, I actually haven't seen Clue. I, I mean, if I've seen it, it's been a while. I just know it has Tim Curry in it. That's what I can say. Yeah, yeah, I commend Matt and Fabio. I don't know how. They and got it probably, yeah, and it probably has a hot maiden clue who I would like to stick the mop in her fanny, that's for sure. <laughs> Unless, you know, I know that we're paid to do that um, because, we, you know, there's a lot of, there's some people out there that are sick and they want to make, you know, Matt and Fabio suffer through euphoria. <laughs> God bless them. And I, I, but I'm being joking about that. I mean, I'm, I'm not watching unless some, you pay someone out there pays me a, a lot of money. A lot of money, huh? What would it take? Yeah, frame by frame. Yeah. What's up? There's like a loud noise. Hmm, I wonder if that, I guess that might be my laptop, I guess, I don't know. It's like a humming noise, I guess? Yeah. I guess it's my laptop, damn. <laughs> Hello, sorry about that. Are you good? How's the weather up there? Is it sunny, cloudy, or cold? It's uh, 60 something degrees. Yeah, I mean, like I said, unless someone pays, if it's like a paper quest, maybe, but it has to be, it's not going to be five bucks, that's for sure. What if someone paid $500 or a thousand? You probably would do it, right? I mean, it doesn't, even, it doesn't have to be that much. I'm not asking for a few hundred, but, you know, to suffer through euphoria, it has to be more than five bucks. I mean, come on. Just as as Billie Jean would as Billie Jean would say, fair is fair. Just you want fair is fair. 
Yeah, I mean, but frame by frame, I think he's a subscriber. I don't really see him a lot on these streams, but don't give him ideas. <laughs> but watch, somebody's going to send in, send in a, a request or something. They're going to make us watch it. I'm not going to fucking watch it. No way. <laughs> Unless someone wants to do, unless some hot chick wants to do a naughty dance for me, then then I'll consider it. What, like Zendaya? Yes, or I don't. It depends. If she gets naked, I'll consider it. <laughs> or Cindy Sweeney gets naked, and and Zendaya and some other chick, you know, the the daughter of of what's her face, Leslie Mann, and you know, Judd Apatow. I think I think her. Forget, I think it's what Maud Aptel, I think is her name. I think she's a, unless they want to at least they if they're all going to get naked dance for me. Yeah, maybe I'll watch it. And if you want to, if you want to drain my balls for free, <laughs> Jesus, man. Um, I know. Sorry, I just. I know you good. No, I'm just. I was getting ready to say something and I forgot. Oh. Um, oh yeah. So I think this weekend we're gonna. I mean, if, if Scotty's good, and I know he just moved in, but I think we are going to do Team NT3. Yep, that's actually a good thing that you moved it to the next week. That pro hopefully, uh, hopefully, I'll be able to do it. It should, hopefully. And uh, we'll pick a night. Um, I know Alex is down for it, and you know we may do after the commentary, do like an after show. You know, kind of ask us anything, Q and A. Um. It depends. You know, I know the film is not long, but, you know, if we want to hang out for a little bit afterwards. Uh, are, we talking, are we talking about backstage or, or like we still will still be live, but we'll take questions after the movie's over? Yeah. Do, yeah. Do something like that between me, you and Alex. Right on. What's that? I said right on. Okay. You know, that way we can. You know, have a little fun after if people, you know, people want to tune in for that. Oh, yeah. So the creator is a creep, huh? He just, he wishes he can bane those girls, but he has a, but he has a small dick. That's good to know. <laughs> um, is your computer going to be okay? It should be. Well, here's the funny thing. I, um, I had to get a screen rep replaced on it because I accidentally dropped it. Or, well, not necessarily an accident, but I'll explain later. But, um, yeah, the screen was fucked up, and I thought my Dell warranty covered it, you know, the accidental damage, but apparently it's only year to date. You can only use it like once, and then, you I mean, you can still send it to them to work on it, but they'll charge you something that time. Which is kind of bullshit, but it is what it is. Okay. Because Adele was going to charge me a little over two hundred dollars to do the screen. Luckily, I called around locally and I found a person. They they were only going to charge me like a hundred sixty-two and change compared to two hundred dollars. So I almost saved myself forty dollars. I'll take that. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, at some point. I mean, I don't know when, but I would like like to get a new PC. I mean, nothing's wrong with it so far, but you just never know. Because okay. I've had this. Gotcha. Hang on a second. Hold on. I no problem. Bad Boys 4 trailer, it was all right, but honestly, the only one that I've seen is the second one. So I really can't, you know, I haven't seen the other ones. Maybe. But I don't know who, you know, whoever worked on Euphoria, I don't know who the creator is or I don't know anything about them. Beverly Hills Cop 4 looks like fun. Hopefully, it will be good. We'll see what happens. But, yeah, so if we do the commentary for Team NT3, uh, do you guys want to see, like, you know, if we hang around for a little bit afterwards, we can, you know, do, like, Q&A, like an open Ask Us Anything kind of, you know, session. Sam Levinson. 
Okay, I missed the last part you were saying. What were you talking about? I was talking about the uh, the commentary. If we do like, you know, if anybody wants to see that or drop by, if we do like a and a session after the commentary. We did do a we did do a commentary for Cobra like sometime last year, and I don't think we did a Q and A after that. I know that it was you and me, Matt Thomas. I think Alex was there. Yeah. Why does that name sound familiar though? Sam Levinson. Yeah. Now you got me curious, Sam Levinson. What else has this guy? Okay, American filmmaker and actor. He was born in '85, actually. And he could looks like he can pass for uh, what's it was it was it what uh, Jerry Little? What's going on? Matt just got into a fight. What'd you do, Matt? Oh, damn. You okay? The Warriors would be fun because I haven't seen that in a while. But, uh, yeah, so, really, neighbor was screaming at some lady. Damn. So you witnessed a fight? I just hope that you didn't get into a fight. Had to run out. Had to run out. Wow. Well, I hope that, uh... Hmm. wonder why that person was screaming. Was he demanding money or was he demanding something else? Was your neighbor being, or that lady, whoever... Was being beamed by Wild Man Beyond and <laughs> fired in the sky. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of neighbors, I think didn't the first neighbors come out in 2014 with Seth Rogen and Zach Efron? I haven't seen it. And then the sequel came up a couple years later. He, Matt, Matt said he grabbed his FBP2 and ran out and he drove off. What's that? Wow. Well, hope you. I don't know what to say. I mean, just be careful. Yeah, Bambi, be careful. The Bambi, the Reckoning trailer. Have you seen this? Mm -hmm. They did a Bambi horror film like Winnie the Pooh. Hmm. And no, the trailer. Was about... Rambo's Lucky Charm. <laughs> But uh, did you watch the Roadhouse remake? Nope, I have not. The only Roadhouse I acknowledge is the 1989 film. And that's enough. That's enough said. I started watching like maybe the first minute or two of it, and I'm like, I don't feel like watching this. If I did, it would be like. I, I would have to, you know, make some time for it because yeah, I haven't really reviewed a lot of new movies, but I would not be too kind on it. That's for sure. Would you think it's better? Would you say it's better or as bad as the one with the the the, the supposed sequel? Uh, I forget what it was called. Roadhouse. It had Jonathan Sketch in it or whatever his name is. Well, I, I only saw like a minute or two of it. So, I mean, and then I kind of just... I'm like, I'll come back to it later because I have Amazon Prime and uh, it's it's free, but I don't oh, know. I'm trying free. to, yeah, if you have Amazon Prime, the Roadhouse remake, yeah, you should be able to watch it. Yeah, like right now I can watch it. <laughs> Basically putting lipstick on a pig, huh? Pig. Oh, so Ali's seen it. You would definitely not buy a dollar for that, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much I pay for Prime. It's got three three stars out of five on Amazon. Like, where are the reviews? There's no, like, reviews on it. Right now, it sits at a 6.2 on IMDb. There's no, rot <clears throat> There's no Rotten Tomatoes score on it.
I just uh, wait a second. Hey, it's got holy to be fuck! Holy shit, guy! That okay? was insane. Yeah, my wife was leaving. Right, my wife left. So I went in the back room to get more cigarettes and I was coming out and I heard like this guy fucking screaming man at the top of his lungs and he was just going fucking insane, like insane. So I get to the door and I look out and I check and my car is gone. So I'm like, hey, she's not there. So I walk out here. I walk out here and I turn around like this and down near that tree back there. I don't know. Yeah, but some guy is screaming at his girlfriend and he was like screaming and screaming and she's trying to get in the car and he's like screaming at her so I went fuck and the guy turned around <laughs> and then he went back to yeah. screaming so I ran in and I grabbed my R2 and I fucking ran back outside and then I ran down and he saw me run down the steps I guess and that like I guess he didn't want to like argue or whatever and when I got out, he was getting in the car with the chick, and he fucking drove off. So and I ran right after him, man. I grabbed, I grabbed this fucker. I was like, just in case, because the guy, the guy was definitely hopped up on something. He was definitely, he was like completely. It was like he was on meth or something. Was it the new crow? <laughs> 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 Is the Bill Scars going? Oh, man. Meth head, crackhead, scar scar. Yeah, <laughs> the <know>. crackhead. <laughs> Bro. crackhead it sucks crack. because we just got crackhead rid of all Joe. those people in the building. You know, like we had uh, a lot of a lot of people who were like that around here. And we just got rid of them all. You know, and now we're gonna have another guy like this. Like fuck. But, but I thought it was I thought it was my like at first I thought he was yelling at my wife. I was like fuck, man, you're gonna get a beating. Well, here's um, an interesting question. Speaking of, what's it like being married? Um, it's great. Sometimes, sometimes it's not great, but yeah, I can imagine there'd be some disagreements here and there. <laughs> yeah, because my wife doesn't back down. She's uh, I guess well, she comes from a military family, and she's like a she's a boxer, so she doesn't back down. So like sometimes uh if 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 you know we get into an argument she's not gonna let it go she's gonna right. keep on for days for days like mm -hmm. if you try to win an argument with her she'll keep going for days until you give up yeah. so but gotcha. she's she's a great girl she's uh she's she's a one of a kind like i've never met anyone like her gotcha <laughs> But you said yeah. you got to a fight. I mean, it sounds like you were. Well, I was. I was in the fight because I was running. I was running right for him. I was like, right. I thought. I thought he was gonna get. I thought he was gonna get in the car and grab her. Because the girl, the girl got in the car and then he went. He ran like he was trying to get her and like she shut the door, and then he ran around the side. And when I was coming outside, when he was running around the side, and I got like maybe where that car is over there, and then he he. Just, peeled out he wow. jumped in the passenger side and they peeled out so I, they're gonna come back obviously because i've seen that car before the meth head truck or car huh yeah i was gonna hit him with the what, what did sly call that thing the the skull cracker this thing what, what's this thing called i forgot the skull cracker. <laughs> Let's get him an arm or something. Break Maybe we should make a movie called The Skull Cracker. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, I think no, that was scary. I... My heart was like. <gasps> <gasps> Your heart was pounding. Yeah, it was scary. It was. I was scared. I'm glad we didn't catch that live. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. Imagine. We... Imagine. No, but I, it was loud. Like, it was loud. Like. I could hear it like it was in my house. Well, people might get confused because you're Billy Corgan right now, according to your name. So they'd be like, oh, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, I'm using my old phone. Gotcha. 
<laughs> so this went to the movie stream to the meth stream. <laughs> the meth stream. Matt's meth stream. So no, we've had things happen. Like someone, stream. someone's been been shot on my street before. And then we had, uh, we used to have these escorts who lived downstairs. And then, uh, yeah. Um, one night someone broke into their house and stole their dog. Wow. Uh, yeah. And the police were here all day until like after dinner. And from like, I woke up in the middle of the night and I went and I opened the, the blinds and it was just police all the way down the street. And then there was like, they were here until the next night. They had evidence trucks. They asked us all where we were. It's happened more than one time where, like, there's been crazy shit like that that's happened around here. Sounds like Detroit. Yeah. We've already had a situation like that where, where um, uh, I think it was like an Uber driver was dropping off a lady and wouldn't leave the girl alone. Mm -hmm. Was trying to you know, help her into her house with her stuff, but wouldn't leave her, like, wouldn't leave. And so a few of us downstairs had to like uh, start talking to her like we knew her, even though we didn't. And then you left. Wow. Yeah. So I don't know. Probably, maybe the police will come. I have no idea. All I know is it scared the shit out of me when I heard that. I was like, oh my God. Because immediately I thought it was my wife. So I, I was like, fuck. I was like, what are you doing now? What are you getting yourself into now? Be careful. Like, that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, I'll let you know. I'll I'll chime back in if he uh, comes back. Um, I'll yeah, get an interview. Yeah, I might. Yeah, I might go on for like thirty more minutes here. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I got. I'm gonna go. I gotta go. Um, you gotta go. You gotta go. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> that's good. I'm okay. You're it just sucks. Good. I didn't get to try out my uh. Skull cracker. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> okay. I'll let you guys know. All right. All right. See All you right. later again. Take it easy. Bye. Adios. I just want to be with you. <laughs> be safe. Yeah. So I'll probably go on for like, you know, it's 250 right now. So almost on my end. So maybe like till 315. Gotcha, man. Gotcha. So the, well, apparently Wildman wants to join, surprisingly enough. Well, we're just going to keep it between, like, because it was just going to be me and Matt. And when I, because me and Matt were just chatting for like an hour and some change. And I'm like, well, Scotty can tag in. So we're just kind of, we're going to keep it between us. But, okay. You sure about that? Yeah. Because I, because I, dude, I've been going live since, um, since 12, I'm guessing. Or, no, 11 something. Right Two now. hours. So, yeah, I'm, I'm take yeah. So, I'll, I'll, we'll, you know, we'll sign off about, you know, in about 25 minutes, 30 minutes. And I guess I noticed you had Bojangles or something for lunch. Yeah, I have Bojangles. So I still have a little bit of drink left from this. Like this was like, um, you know, like two hours ago, maybe more. <laughs> oh yeah, I think the Warriors will make a great limited series because if you watch Cobra Kai, you... yeah, I'll be right back. Got to go to the bathroom. Oh, no problem. Yeah, it could have been way worse. With Ronda Rousey in it. <laughs> yeah, she was, you know, when she first came back to wrestling, you know, they talked about that. They talked about remaking Roadhouse with her in it, and it never got off the ground, and thank God. <laughs> so... Yeah, I mean, Ronda Rousey, apparently, like, she's talked bad about WWE. Some interviews recently. I mean, 
I mean, I've seen some of the headlines, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, I forgot who she fought last. But yeah. But I've never been a big fan. I mean, she's made enough money. You know, she could just settle down. But yeah, so we got seven people in here. Let me answer this message real quick. Yeah, Expendables 3. She was in that. That was awful. Okay, that was her. She might have. I mean... But I know what you're saying. I mean, who would not... I mean... It, Cindy Swinney in the cage. I'll train with her. Yeah, maybe sometime I'll check out the new Roadhouse movie. I don't know, just, you know, just to make some reviews. Because I got some reviews planned, like these three right here. These three movies are coming up. But to check out some newer stuff, maybe. And then I'll rant on it. <laughs> because I'm sure I'm not going to like it. We'll see what happens. But that movie is two hours. So I need two hours. Expendables 3 sucks. Glenn Powell, I mean, I know he's in the new Twisters movie, and he was all right in Top Gun 2, but I didn't watch Top Gun 2 for Glenn Powell. <laughs> But yeah, so we'll go on whenever Scotty gets back, another like 20 minutes or so, because I've been going for like two hours, and I have to go by the store, so... Now, he's not even close. I mean, you know, Glenn Powell, you know, for me, like I said, I didn't mind him in Top Gun too, but I think he has more to prove.
Like he's the lead character in this new Twisters movie, Twister Two. But I'm like, you know, to me, I, don't know, I just, I really don't see box office with Glenn Powell. But that's just me. Probably Danny Masterson. He's worse. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, pretty much. I definitely agree with that. Let me see. Yeah, I would say the best news of the stream is Quantum Leap. The reboot being canceled. This is not even... Well, I mean... Alec, one person is killed and Amber Heard took a dump on Johnny Depp's... There's, I don't think there's not even a comparison. Again, one person's killed, the other one took a dump on Johnny Depp's bed. Did you see the movie? Did Wild Man Beyond see that rom-com with Glenn Powell and Sidney Sweeney? Yep. TV's powering off right now. Okay. The dog snores. Hey. Now she's been laying there ever since the beginning of the stream. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know what he said.
Let's see. I, mean, I don't see it either. I don't see the appeal, you know, with Glenn Powell. I mean, to me, he's like a bit player, and he could probably work as a bit player in movies. But, I mean, I don't really see him as the next big thing. To me, Alan Richson, the guy that plays Jack Reacher, you know, he should be getting the roles that Glenn Powell's getting. I mean, I know he's going to be playing Reacher for a long time, apparently. But he's the guy that should be, like, you know, promoted. He's the guy that should be, you know, marketed. You know, not just with Reacher. Yeah, to me, I'd rather see more Reacher than Batman. But uh, they have Scotty still there. I'm just gonna go on for another ten, you know, ten minutes or so. So I don't know. You might. Yeah, I mean, I can see him as the next big thing, but they don't, you know. But I guess he's tied down with Reacher, so. Do I think Glenn Powell would make a good Johnny Cage? I haven't. I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, Glenn Powell, he's okay, but, you know, like in Top Gun, too, he's okay. But I don't think he has a personality to pull off a Johnny Cage. I could be completely wrong. But. He has to show more. That's just my opinion. I'm not sure, Common Rider. Um, you know, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I, I agree. But um, let me. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Scotty. I mean, he went to the bathroom, but I don't know if he just got tied up. So, But we're going for – I'm still going for 10 more minutes here. I'll give Scotty a little bit of time. Oh. There yeah. you are. Yeah. Uh, I've been <laughs> – uh, I was doing s several things. Um, yeah. Uh, more or less involving the set net garage controller. And then I was – I haven't really eaten anything, so I don't know how long you're going to be going on for. So, oh, on. I mean, it's it's three oh five right now, but you know, we can go on for ten more minutes. Um, well, man, I was I, my I was trying to help out around the house. My dad needed a, wanted to at least show me how to program a remote, especially if um, if I'm you know having to go in the garage in and out. So, yeah. Okay. I said, and Swami said I missed a big conversation of comments. Uh, so what was all that about? Man, we were talking about Glenn Powell and how he got, got got with Sweeney Sweeney. Yeah, I know all about that. Yeah, I still haven't seen that movie. But yes, yeah, so I'm not going to be on but for a few more minutes. 
because I have to run to the store. Um, and help your neighbor too, right? Uh, probably not. I mean, too bad your neighbor's not a hot blonde, right? <laughs> if that was the case, I, you know, then I would have to get up. But I mean, no, he's a good guy and uh, he's kind of related, kind of not. I mean, he's kind of like a friend of the family. And I think maybe he had some stuff that he was going to take off. So I think that's, I think that's what it is. Like something like once in a blue moon, he'll call um, because he needs help with something. But it, I mean, everything's good. That's cool. But in case you haven't known, I don't know if you know this well, man, I actually got a big boost in subscribers. I actually have, 619 in case you didn't know dang dude there were i think we're like almost tied up <laughs> yeah it's thanks to that uh beautiful soul chick that um her name is alexa but i feel like i should add, but i feel like we should talk more I, sh I should probably talk more about that later with you probably off stream somewhere that is cool and uh, <laughs> <laughs> old ladies or ugly hood rats, yeah. Oh, hold on, I'll be right back. Hold on, oh, no problem. I did see it, but I don't. We'll see what happens. But yeah, three fifteen. We'll sign off here. I know it seems like Scotty's more tied down, but yeah. But I gotta run out and stuff and. So, so for anybody, I mean, maybe I should talk more about this in a post and maybe I'll save that for a post, but basically I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of hangouts unless things are planned. So like, you know, for people out there like Wild Man Beyond and, you know, others out there that want to, you know, collaborate. Okay. Scotty's back. Um, yeah, not for long. I'm going to have to head off, sadly. Um, I got not a problem. Ahead. But thanks for having me on, John. It's, it was cool to talk with you, cool with uh, Matt, cool to see people in the chat, and it's, it's just awesome to hang out with you. You've always been – you're such an awesome friend. I don't know if anyone's told you that, but I'm just being forward and honest with you. Oh, hey, I mean, it's great to have you in here, and we'll definitely get up again and uh, Team and T3 commentary. <laughs> we'll, we'll get on that. Yep, I'll definitely be on there for that. Okay. You take care of yourself, John. Be safe, okay? And people in the chat, be safe as well. All right, man. Peace. Peace. All right, so we'll wrap it up here for now because I've been sitting here for like two and a half hours, maybe close to it. Um, but yeah, for everybody that stuck around, thank you. And like I said, uh, you know, I'm not going to be doing too many big hangouts here uh, on the channel. And I know Wild Man Beyond uh, – you're definitely going to come on again soon. We just have to plan it. And that's what I want to do going forward. I mean, I don't want to do like, you know, because originally it was just going to be me and Matt here for this stream. And then he had to leave. And now I'm like, let me tag Scotty in. So I want to do it a little bit more better uh, going forward. I mean, I don't want to do like, you know, spur the moment stuff and have like six to eight people jump in at one time unless it's something planned. Unless, you know, it's for like a special occasion, you know, at once in a blue moon, that's fine. Uh, but I don't want to be like, you know, like a Brady Bunch, you know, crazy stream and nobody, you know, can't really get a word in. Uh, and, you know, for commentaries, you know, that's fine. You know, let's let's keep it at, you know, like three to four people per commentary. Uh, you know, I just want to basically keep it a little bit more structured uh, going forward on the channel and between us, you know, the people that, that I know very well, like Wild Man Beyond, Matt, Scotty, uh, Rambo Raff, Fabio out there, you know, Rich, uh, to everybody who's watching, you know, our circle of friends. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I just wanted to get that, you know, put that out there for people watching and um, I'll make a post about it too. So, Wild Man, if there's something you want to do in the future, let me know, like a commentary. If you want to do like a one-on-one -on -one 
We haven't done that yet in a while. Uh, that'd be fun. But yeah, so I just wanted to mention that and, um, and uh, you know, kind of really scale back on the, you know, like big stream parties. Um, so yeah, uh, but that's it for now. Again, thank you to everybody watching out there. It was fun and have a good day.